Hello, people. Today, we will be distilling this right here. This is oil I've made from plastic in the past. I have quite a bit of it. Over two gallons. Of course, we won't be doing all that much today. But, we're going to be distilling it. And we're going to fractionate the proper boiling point hydrocarbons out of this. Hopefully some gasoline, diesel, and kerosene like we've seen in the past. Now, I'm not going to do this like I did this before, okay? I'm the Mad Max Nile Red, we know that, but today I'm going to go Nile Red on them. As you can see here, we have the real deal, the real chemistry distillation set glassware we can see everything as it's happening so this is gonna be how we do in terms of the setup we need to we can't heat this directly with a flame we're gonna heat it indirectly uh, through through a sand pan so I have a little bucket not really a bucket it's like a a pot of sand where the beaker is gonna rest and this is gonna be a fractional distillation setup so um, I have two columns here two lie bigs we're only going to use one lie big with actual water in it the other one is just going to be more of like a packing column we're going to pack it with this this uh, mesh over here this metal mesh to increase the surface area so without further ado let us go ahead and get this set up all right so this is the primary chamber 500 mil right here yeah now this is we're gonna put the oil in here we also need to put something else in there these balls <laughs> these are lava stones and they're pretty much gonna act as uh, boiling stones high surface area they have a lot of porosity on them so we just had about four of them in there four of these balls um, and I have a saying one two three four my balls down your throat can I fit some more <laughs> that oil is beautiful as is a nice golden color as is you know imagine after distillation so about 500 mil in this measuring cup I leave a little bit of headroom for vapor expansion and heat expansion so I'm not gonna fill it up all the way I think that's just smart and wise <laughs> but as you see we got it like we got, we got a good way through the next step is this column here we're gonna add this packing in this mesh uh, let's see if it fits as is I might need a little stick there we are there we are yes sir alright that'll do that'll do these glass joints here I need to put some grease on them on every single one just a little bit of grease so they don't seize up and also it'll seal it as well keep it you know airtight so I have some silicone grease here dielectric it's actually what I used to put on the shaft seal of the reactor I would use it to lubricate it as well as to provide um, a better seal so we're just gonna put a little bit on here and then I suppose I can just you know rub it around you know it doesn't need to be anything crazy it just needs to be a nice you know decent layer of grease to just you know give it some lubrication and all so yeah I suppose that that will be enough right there and we're just gonna do that for all these joints and we're just gonna put this together yeah keep it simple baby <laughs> We got it set up. I got the pump running just to, you know, check for any water leaks. We're good on that. Got the clamps on the certain parts here. Thermometer in there. A little bit just at the same level of where the condenser is. I heard that's where you do it best. Packing in there. Lava stones, my balls in there. 
Uh, now we have 500 mil of here. This flask is a 250 mil flask, so we're gonna have to change it out at some point. Um, that's why I don't have a clamp on this. Let's go! About an hour and 30 minutes in, the sand temperature is 242 degrees Celsius and 474 or 480 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's getting pretty hot in there now. So about two hours, 30 minutes in, the oils are bubbling quite well and we also have some vapors starting to form up in the column. So in this packed column here, uh, of course, it's going to take its time to reach the top since it's a lot of surface area, but that's still promising to see because that means that soon, sooner or later, we are going to get some oils condensing. I can't wait until we start to get some condensate. Oh yeah, baby, baby, do you see that? We're getting some condensate, baby! <laughs> it looks like it's just water right now. Or maybe it's just some damn clean oil. However, comma, regardless of what it is, we're finally getting it. It's been about three hours in. So, hey, progress is being made. That's all that matters, don't it, mama? If she twerks, she works. You feel me? So as you can see, there's some pretty intense reflux occurring in the uh, the flask here. And this column, this packed column, is working very good at uh, you know having multiple um, areas of high surface area. Um, this temperature right now is at 40 degrees Celsius, the vapor temperature. I don't see a Fahrenheit side, so I think we're just stuck at Celsius, but that's fine for all my European boys. It's clear like water, but I don't think it's water because I see a rainbow forming in it. So I think it's like an oil. You know how oils have like those rainbows that form in them, you know? Rainbows, you know, these oils, I can show their pride. But that being said, uh, you see it's definitely got a nice steady boil going in there. A lot of bubbles, bubble guppies up in here. So yeah, it's looking good. So four or so hours in, temperature is around 52 Celsius right now. As you see, definitely getting some oil on this other side. It looks very akin to gasoline to me, if you ask me, baby, baby. Um, and I know this isn't water, because I actually can see a little droplet of water underneath at the very bottom. Do you see that? I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, so most of this is oil. I did um, separate all the water out, as much as the water I could with a separatory funnel before I put it in here, so there's very little water in general. So it's looking really good. Uh, you know, it is taking its time. Should I, insu should I have insulated, you know, more of this? Um, I did insulate the top of there, the top of the flask, and that certainly helped. Um, we're getting some really good reflux going on here all right around an hour and no four hours and 30 minutes in I've upped the heating by quite a bit uh, as we are increasing the temperature the temperature is at 85 Celsius I think I need to turn down the heating a little bit actually but other than that it is looking good a lot of fractionation happening a lot of oils running back down the, the column um, as we can see here, the drip rate is definitely gone up, but I do want to turn down the temperature. I think it's a little bit too quick now. Yeah, the temperature is definitely rising quite a bit, so I'm going to turn it down, but it is looking good. So, uh, I bumped up the temperature too quickly, 
and it ended up making this foggy because that means the separation was trash because it was kind of like forcing the stuff over we have it under control now um, of course the quality the pristine look of this is not the same however it still looks good to me it still looks better than the crap before <laughs> so I'm not really complaining I'm just glad we got it back under control um, right now it went from 100 Celsius to 80 Celsius so the temperature is dropping again so I need to bump up the heat just a little bit and then just let it sit there um, the main reason why I kind of like bumped it up so much before is because I only have an hour left to run this thing before I need to go somewhere and I am not leaving an open flame um, <laughs> when I'm gone somewhere I'm not so uh, unfortunately this run is going to be cut short today I do another run tomorrow um, of course with distillation it's not as simple as oh I'm just going to do another run you know like you pretty much have to completely restart when you like shut the stuff down you know so <clears throat> you know that's unfortunate but whatever that's how life is that's how life is going to be um, but I do like what we see we're going to test this out see if, if, it, uh, if it has a low flash point like gasoline obviously it looks like gasoline the viscosity looks really good um, pretty much no water in there very little water purely oil so we're gonna test this out and yeah I'm excited here she is look at her man Look at her. Oh my god, mama's so beautiful though. Mama's so beautiful. Hold up. Put her up in here. Oh my god, bro. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. Oh, that's the most beautiful fuel I've made, mate. Oh my word. Just for a point of comparison, this is the unrefined oil that I've been using before that is the refined oil Lord have mercy man that is clean as hell what the hell man wow let's see how she burns yo this is crazy though it's so clean man oh my days man all right we're just gonna put a good amount in that in that plate there back this up a good bit all right let's see Oh my word. Oh my days. How does that thing burn just like gasoline, bro? <laughs> it burns just like gasoline, baby. Gasoline, baby. From plastic. <laughs> 